Hi, Tammy. Hi, Sam. All right, the tip line's open, honey. I'm gonna get her going. Hi, Lucas. Hi, cat dog. Nice to see you here. Thank you, sweet Tammy. Why are you swapping? Swap out and swap back. Thank you so much, sweet pea, Tammy. Howdy. Howdy, Corey. Thank you, Sherry. All right, Corey, you're first. You're first up if that's the same Corey. Dial the number. Thank you, cat dog. It would be so nice to start the live with somebody answering. Welcome, everybody. It's so good to see y'all. Hi, Allison. This is Sue. Uh, your backyard is not up to the requirements of the HOA, so you don't have to scrap all that work y'all are doing. Uh, Vegas has a high standard for backyards, and this ain't hitting the mark, honey. So you're gonna have to redo all this shit. It's ugly as hell. It ain't gonna work here. No, it's it's bringing down the value of of the neighborhood. So. I'm sorry to break the news to you, but call me back if you got any questions about this, honey. Bye. Next up is Kooky Carol. Kooky Carol, I'm going to have to change this around a little bit because it's a little bit illegal, what you want me to say, but it'll be good nonetheless. I'm doing tip line again. It's a th it's a five dollar minimum, but I am prioritizing larger tips. If you could give me ten, fifteen, whatever, twenty, hell, I don't know, whatever you decide you want to give, you'll go before the five dollar one, if that makes sense. Hello. Hi, Care. Hi, Heather. How you doing? This is Sue. My son is in class with your son, Caleb. His name is Bobby Joe. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if Caleb's ever mentioned him. Uh, no, I haven't heard of you. Are you in school with somebody named Bobby Joe? He said he doesn't know anybody named Bobby Joe. That's interesting. He, my Bobby Joe comes home talking about Caleb all the time, and I got your number from the teacher because I've got some issues going on with Caleb and Bobby Joe, actually. Really? What's going on? Well, they are playing some kind of game where they like to give each other them wedgies where you pull their underpants over the other's head. And they've been slapping each other's ass in class so hard that they scream. 
And so, Bobby Joe came home with a red handprint on his ass cheek, and I was like, son, what the hell is that? People are gonna call CPS on me. I don't even beat you like that. And he told me what's been going on with with your son, Caleb. And I just wanted to let you know I don't approve of this. I don't think it's good. It's it's a past, rough person. Okay, well, I'll, give, I'll talk to Caleb about it. I haven't heard anything about this, and he says he doesn't know what Bobby Joe. So I think I'll talk to him, and I'll investigate further. That's you said fine. your name is Sue? What is your last name? Dylan. Dylan. Okay. I will definitely check into it, and I will uh, make sure it's handled. Thank you, honey. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. I'm not going to tell you what she wanted me to say. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. What did she want? I'm not. <laughs> Jalen. I need to get a new phone because the numbers get hung. You tip on the link in my bio. The person you're trying to reach is not available. There's a link on my profile and it'll say tip line, I believe. But it says live prank request tip line. And there is a. Blue phone by it. Blue phone. Once you get into the link off my TikTok profile. Anyway. Bit to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. <clears throat> Bye. You have been seeing my son. And he ain't brought you over to eat corn bread and weenies with me yet. And I'm offended that y'all hadn't been over here. And I expect you to come soon and visit. Otherwise, I will be the bane of your existence if you marry my son. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for all the gifts. Sarah T. Sarah T's in the house? Yes. Thank you, Sarah T. I've missed it, but thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Pre-books go first, but if you pre-book now, you're pre-booking for next Sunday because I'm doing the pre-books right now. You go after the pre-books, but larger tips will go before smaller tips once I get to the tips. I know it's a lot. It's just the system I have, and it works for me, so. All right, this one's for Rebecca. There's not many pre-books today. I only have uh, about 12, and I've already done three, so that's only... Hello. Amber. Can I get an Amber alert? Not, not really, I'm kidding. I don't know why I said that. I can't say that. I really want her to answer.
What are they doing? Here, buzz off to I'm gonna try one more time on this one because this person is getting married and this is their wedding gift. They know who I am. This ain't really a prank, but I do prank calls. You should appreciate it. Nobody gives a shit about football, honey. Unless it's the balls playing. They don't play on Sundays. They play on Saturdays. So shut your trap. If they don't answer, I leave a voicemail. And if the voicemail box is full, I'll reach out for another number. Or we will refund you. I'm sorry. The person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that is not... Um, and if they call me back, I do haul it back live Friday and I call them back and keep the prank on rolling. What was that? Thank you. Lindsay. <laughs> Tip line is in the link on my profile, honey. It says live prank calls. Tip line or something like that. Live prank request tip line. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five. I don't know, honey. It sounds like it's something on your end then because I'm getting requests. <laughs> Thank you for helping me get halfway to my goal, honey. Amanda, if you could please call me back. I wanted to talk to you about you doing my daughter Crystal's wedding. She's marrying her first cousin, Randy, and I'm so proud of her. Uh, we live out here in the sticks, but I know uh, we're wanting to have the wedding out of state, in your state, so I found you online, and you know, it's going to be a family affair. It really, really is, and I'm so excited to see their babies. It's going to be like the Lannisters on Game of Thrones. I feel like they're going to have jet black hair, though, because we got Native American blood in us. But I'm so excited. Um, but just give me a call back if you can, honey. Bye. Um, cool guy, you did not put a number on your pre-book, so we're emailing you to get it. I've already emailed you once. 
put the flipping phone number in the damn prank call, y'all. This one's for Brianna Sharpnack. Wait. This is the one that said not to, that said for the. I'm pretty sure I refunded this one. So I'm not gonna do it because you said her mom had a death in the family and it wasn't in, in good taste. I'm pretty sure. So let me check on this. One. Thank you guys for helping me reach the goal. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting it going in a second. I just got to check into this. Okay, yeah, no, we're not doing this one then. She did say to refund her, and I did. Okay, this one's for Kooky Carol. Oh, we already did that one. This one's for Wasser Kylie. These damn numbers. To Verizon Wireless, the number you dialed has been changed, disconnected. It's gonna get called between now and 8 p.m., honey. Mm -hmm. There's no way to, to say when exactly yours will get done. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The number you dialed has been changed, disconnected, or is no longer in service. I love that. I love it. All right, now we're doing Diva. Mm -hmm. Check your email if yours isn't working out because of a number issue. We're emailing you to get it fixed. My husband was scratching his asshole, so he made that sound. Hello? Hello, Diva. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. Good. Um, you know, I'm cousins with your boyfriend. Yes, and I'm from Sarasota, Florida. I and me. And so. Yes. Hi, Sue. Hi. I take it he's talked about me then, hasn't he? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> they called you. <laughs> well, shit. I guess you eat the cats out of the bag, ain't it? I'm on TikTok way too much. Girl. Oh, my God. Would you... Let me ask you a question since you're a doula. Uh-huh. Would you eat your placenta and would you eat it raw or would you cook it? You want to you wanna dehydrate it. So you can't I, just eat it raw. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely going in on it. Okay. So, but you could cook it in like a cast iron skillet like a steak, couldn't you? Yeah, you could do like little butter on it. <laughs> I wonder if the nutrients would seep into the cast iron. Yeah, and then you have it again. That's what I'm thinking. See, my daughter, she's gonna have one soon. I'm really wanting her to do that, and I'll cook it up myself. All right. Yeah, serve it to everyone. Yeah. Get a little taste of my daughter. <laughs> it's kind of like cannibalism to me, but I mean, if, if it's good for you, it's good for you. I mean, you, I mean, like, we grow it ourselves. Yeah. I mean, same thing Jeffrey Dahmer said about someone's arm. We grow it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy oh, when you think oh, about it. We're having a 
having a baby soon? Um, yeah, yeah, my daughter Crystal is. She just got out of prison. She's pregnant. Uh, what is it called when they can when they can visit? Conjugal. Conjugal visits, you know. Conjugal visits gone wild is what I said. Yeah, seriously. But uh, I don't think they wore the sheets in between, which is weird. But well, do we know if we're having a boy or girl? It's probably going to be a boy, but no, she hadn't made it to the ultrasound yet. We getting there? We'll get there when we get there. Madame, I'm in the presence of royalty right now. That's what I'm saying, honey. I, I've never talked to a doula before. Oh my goodness. Well, you want to make sure that you get a very intense taint massage so that you don't <laughs> rip you don't tear i'll have i'll have her husband massage her taint okay good that's that's crucial the taint chakra <laughs> well honey it was nice talking to you god bless bye bye spanky will you massage my taint when we have offspring Someone said I thought only men had taints. <laughs> All right, who's next? I'm an annoying sneezer. I'm sorry. Johanna Hussey. People want me to be saying stuff about kids being disrespectful, and I just... Look for your mouth. <coughs> I hope they don't get in trouble. Hi, honey, it's Sue. Is this Mrs. Gaskin? <laughs> yeah, right. It, it, what, honey? My son has been getting in trouble in your class, and I don't appreciate the hostility, Mrs. Gaskin. <laughs> honey, uh, you got the right one now. Good. Okay. Well, my, my little son, my grandson, I raised my grandson, um, like a lot of us do. And he's been coming home saying that you ain't letting him go shit in the bathroom when he tells you he needs to. <laughs> well, honey, you better put a pamper on and send him out. <laughs> Give him a pull up. You want him to shit himself during your class. Is that what you're saying? Hey, if that's what he chooses to do, I love it. If he like it, I love it. He don't like it. He wants to go to the bathroom, Mrs. Gaskin, but you're telling him no. He has IBS. Okay, that's a personal problem. I'm not there for that. You're there to cater to my son, and that's where my tax dollars go. Oh, you got it all twisted. I, I'm not paid. I'm, I'm not paid through the state. I'm not certified. Well, honey, you ain't even certified, and you're teaching my baby. I'm a teacher's uh, assistant. Well, honey, you better get your teacher license and your teacher's license and your teacher's Okay, well. You need to take that up with the governor. I'll take it up with the governor. Me and him are on speed dial. Well, you need to call him up then. I guess I'll call him up. And ma'am, you're in Tennessee? No, don't judge my number. I don't have to tell you why I have a number from Tennessee, but I just have a number from Tennessee. Tennessee, I hear you. I hear you, sweetheart. What is this? T E N N E S S. E-S-E. I see why. You're just a teacher's assistant, not the damn teacher. Okay, man. We appreciate 
you calling us and nothing about the problem, but you need to call the governor. Since you have him on speed, I'll call him right now. I will, honey. I'll let you know what he says. Hold on, hold on. And you know, this number, this number is very familiar, you know. Why? Oh, oh, I know why. Don't, don't ask why. Okay, honey. This is one of them prank calls. That's what that is. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just trying to get justice for my son. All right, I'll call him up. Tell him fine. I swing with the governor and his wife, so I'll call him up and they'll do what I need them to do, and it's fine. Tell him to fire me. Tell him to look me up and fire me. I work for Kelly Services. I'll mention that, honey. Okay, darling. Thank you so much. Bye, sweet pea. Have a good, good night. I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> they knew, but they were fun. All right, this one's for Jackie. Don't fire me. We're about to close requests, so I'm getting booked up. Getting bricked up and booked up, honey. Please leave your message for 85... I think I'm going to have to close it. Two more requests. Let's try this person again. Bye. This is the last free book. This is actually a subscription. If you subscribe, you get a free call with your subscription. It's like $5 to subscribe to me, and you can quit after a month if you don't want to do it anymore. You get cool stickers, and I will reach out to you, follow you, and Please reach out to you, and you'll go ne first next Sunday. All right. Hi, honey. It's Sue. I'm trying to get in touch with Nick. I know your mama, Lynn, and your daddy, Dan. Uh... From American Legion, um, we would go there with them a lot, and, uh, you know, I know your dad, Dan, he's a real poolman, he shoots good pool, and we love to drink with them, and, uh, I live out here in New Jersey, I've relocated, I'm actually swinging with your parents, that's how we're so close, um, but, I, I've spoken to your dad, Dan, about how handsome you are, honey, and, uh, you can do better than your girlfriend, Anna. I would really love it if you would give my daughter, Crystal, a shot. It would be a lot of fun on the holidays. That's all I gotta say if we could merge our families. Pass just swinging, you know. But, uh, let me know. Bye. Alright. <clears throat> if you order a call and you miss it, it gets uploaded to YouTube tomorrow. Follow my YouTube channel. You can do it through my link tree. You can click the little YouTube emblem at the top. Thank you, cat dog. Like I said, I'll reach out to you after this live. You'll go first next Sunday since you subscribed. I'm taking one more request uh, to the tip line, then I gotta close it. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. That's it. I gotta close her out. Shop's closed, honey, for tips. For this live, anyway, you can still look for a call with a video. It'll be done probably tomorrow. And, uh, you can also pre-book on, er, you can pre-book for next Sunday, and you can book on Cameo anytime. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two, two. 
I'm gonna leave a message. Actually, I was supposed to call three times. Hold on, let's call one more time. Thank you for all the gifts, honey. Spanky, it's not working. I need this plugged up, but the plug is not plugged in. Which one you talking about? Six. It's not the one for the phone. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hi, Amber. It's Sue. I was just wondering when I'm gonna be getting your getting your wedding invitation because I still ain't got it. Um, and I really wanted to come to the wedding, so. Please send me the invite. I already got your wedding gift. I got you a nice bidet. Got cotton mouth. I don't know why. I'm not. I'm not been doing them, them painkillers, honey. I don't do that shit no more. Uh, anyway, have a blessed day, honey. Thank you, Sarah T. That one was for... Amber. Alright, now we're on the tips. Let's see what we got. Like I said, I prioritize the bigger tips first, so... got one from M sides you go first baby jellyfish jellyfish thank you for the jellyfish All right. Please leave your message for five, four. Thank you, Sarah T. I love the aquatic ones. My favorite gift ever is the whale. Mm -hmm. That's also Wayne's. Press one now to continue this call in English. Para continuar en español, oh, I'm dialing the wrong number. That second time I did anyway.
Thank you, Kaper. Please leave your message for five, four, zero, six. Come on now, answer the phone. If she don't answer, honey, I do callbacks on Friday. So if she, if she leaves me a voicemail, I'll get her. Sam? Can I help you? Yeah, yes, I work for One Life. Um, I was trying to get a hold of you for something we've got going on here. Sam. I need to speak with Sam. This is this is Sue from One Life. I'll call one more time just because you tipped me so damn much I want it to work. How do y'all keep getting disconnected? Hello? I don't know why we keep getting disconnected, honey. I've got something to speak with you about. We have you on camera leaving the bathroom, and the bathroom flooded, and it costs us a fortune to fix. And so your membership is going to be suspended if you hang up this phone call. We have photographic evidence of you shoving toilet paper rolls in the gym bathrooms. And your silence is deafening, and it speaks loudly of the truth. I know y'all are ignoring me because you know what you did. You know what you did. You weren't the floor and you weren't the drywall in the bathroom. And I know this is a bougie place, but honey, you're going to put us bankrupt. You're going to put us damn bankrupt. At least I know you heard. You can expect a bill from us. I'm talking. Yeah, I'm running my mouth. I'm talking. I can hear him. I wasn't born yesterday. I wasn't born yesterday. This one is for House Lacey. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nine. Thank you, Sarah T. Come on, baby, answer. Answer, Miss Sue. If she don't answer, I'll leave a voicemail, and if she calls me back, I'll keep, keep it going, especially since this one's for an insurance quote. I feel like we can keep it going Friday.
if she calls me back, she'll call me back and leave a message, honey. This couch actually has a cigarette burn in it. I'm sitting on it right now. I'm not even kidding. I'll have to show you. Alright, I'm going to leave a message. <clears throat> Hi, Kristen. This is Sue. I got your number from your mama. She said that you could give me a quote for my camper. Um, we're parked out next to the swamps of Florida, and I can see gators right outside the window at night. It's amazing. I love it out here. I don't know if I'm ever going to go back to Tennessee, but uh, I was wondering what you would price me at for my camper. Um, it's a real nice deluxe camper. It's a 2012, and uh, it's one of them air... What is it? Air... Shit, Spanky. What's it called? An Airstream. An Airstream. That's right. It's a real nice camper. The shitter's broken. We have to use a bucket outside. I cut a hole in and I put a toilet seat on top of it. And we do our business out there. Found a nice tree that holds the toilet paper for us. It's perfect. But that's what we use. and So, it's not completely working. But I'm wanting to know if you would get me in on the insurance. It's... We stopped up the pipes, and the pipe busted with Dookie. Uh, we, we stopped and ate at a Whataburger, and that really messed up my intestines. So I was wondering if we could just put that on the DL and pretend that it messed up after my insurance. But let me know what you think, baby. Bye. All right. Like I said, high tips to go first, so I did the highest tips I have. So let's see what's next. Alright, this person, okay, they ordered a prank call with the video, so we ain't doing that one yet. Alright, we got one for a patent. That's my deceased lover, Chad. Drew him from memory. Hi, you've reached the Lost Mall Box and how? Thank you, JB. Thank you, Kristen. Hello. Hello, is this Roxanne? She sounds European. Someone said the Dr. Pepper video was the best. Thank you. I love that woman that was talking in the original. Hello? Hey, Roxanne. I think we got disconnected, baby. How are you doing? Hello? Can can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I'm a neighbor of yours out here, and I don't think we've ever met. Hey, can you hear me? It's Sue. Sue? It's hey, Sue Dillon. I live on your street, baby, and I was wanting to see if you would be willing to come over for some supper. I would like to discuss the happenings of the neighborhood with you. Fuck you. I don't know why you're being so nasty on the phone, honey. You don't have to say fuck you. That's nasty. That's a nasty word. 
What are we going to do with all this beans and cornbread? I don't know why I said the real F word. My mom is watching this. I don't say that word, mama. I don't say that word. She would have washed my mouth out with soap. I don't do that. My mom does say it every now and then when she's drunk or something. Don't call me a fucking again. I don't appreciate your hostility. And you need to and pick I up your damn dog shit. you calling me. Quit calling me. When I hit decline, I hit decline. Don't fucking call me again. I don't know who the fuck you are. I told you what my name is. Y'all do it so hostile. You need to wash your mouth out with soap. Your mama didn't spank your ass enough when you were little. Well, you know what? I never got a spanking in my life, but someone needs it to beat sure the fuck does, out of Joe. you. No, they fuck. sure do need to beat don't your ass, honey. Don't call me. Don't call they me. They need to lay you I, over their lap and beat too. your ass with a belt. I don't get... Wait, what'd you say? I said they need to lay you over their lap and beat your ass with a belt. You need to be taken back to your childhood. You need to be corrected, honey. Well, just fuck... You know, fuck you. I don't care if you live two houses down the road. I'm confused by your accent. I'm confused by you. She hung up. All right, this one's for Leanna Fowles. Yes, I'm getting through all the tipped requests tonight, honey. That's why I closed it down so I can get to all yours. Hey, this is Toby. I'm unable to get to my phone right now. That's the beauty of Linktree and not using Venmo anymore, because when I did Venmo, I couldn't turn it off. And so people weren't getting done. But now people get done. Thank you, honey. Let's get done. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sarah Jane, Jordy, Tammy, and Bush, Bush. I love a Bush. I don't know how people are grooming themselves nowadays, but I sport a bush. Thank you, Mercy. I don't call restricted, no. This is why I have a burner phone. Kobe? Hello? Hey, Kobe. Yeah. I'm so glad you picked up. Uh, I live out here on Buffalo Topic. I'm a neighbor of yours. Can you hear me all right, baby? I hardly look. You hardly hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Thank you. Um, I live out here on your street, Buffalo Topic. And I'm a neighbor, and I have an issue with that damn German Shepherd. It's been loitering in my yard, taking shits and stuff like that. And I even saw it hump in my mailbox, and I don't know why I would do such a thing. I don't want it here anymore. It is not welcome to trespass in my yard ever again. Uh, what kind of I'm not calling from a yard, honey. I'm sitting in the tub right now. But I live, I believe you live a few houses down from me. Okay. What's the uh, address from that? Because my dog usually doesn't leave the yard. I don't give crazy people my address. But I live close enough by where you will know that the dog should not be going in anybody's yard first off. But you'll know... I live close by enough, so just keep your dog in your damn yard, honey. That's all we need to do. Okay. I don't know how that dog don't have no splinter on his Peter anyway, because I have a wooden mailbox post, and that has got to hurt. <laughs> all right, this one is for Brandon Harris. been 
for Thank you guys. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Thank you, honey. A crew neck. Okay, I can do that. Hello? Hi, Kristen. Uh, my name is Sue. I was want to chat with you a little bit about the 911 dispatch supervisor. Okay. Uh, well, you are the supervisor, right? Yeah. So y'all aren't hiring. You're not hiring a supervisor. You're hiring dispatchers. Sometimes. Um, who are you? I was talking to a lady. I'm a supervisor. Oh, uh, well, I was wanting to talk to Kristen. Oh, uh, well, she's busy, but she's taking a call right now. But oh, I'm, I'm sorry. A supervisor. I'm sorry, I didn't know she was working right now. Yeah. Well, I'm real good at handling emergencies, and I would love for you to hire me. Uh, we're not, we're not hired right now. My whole family is an emergency, and I can answer the phone I calmly. I can tell their emergencies. So just let me know if you, if you're hiring, because I'm ready to go. I work night well, shift, I work day shift. Are. I work any shift, honey. Well, good. Sounds good to me. And I can smell bullshit when they call, when them youngins call, saying stuff's happening when it ain't. I can oh, see. Yeah, I, 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 I smell bullshit right now. This ain't bullshit, honey. This is honest a woman looking for some honest work. You said a woman? Yes. Not oh, that it well. is any matter to you what my genitalia is. Because I'm married. Uh, so keep you. Uh, I know you're into it, but I'm married. I know how y'all are. I'm curious of what you are now, then. I know how y'all in healthcare are, you damn ancestral swingers. Swingers. Like y'all are, yep. Swingers. Uh, I'll be out a bat. Yeah, that's what, you, that's what you say, but I know it ain't true. But anyway, honey, you can call me back if you're interested in hiring me. We're not. You have a great day. You wish you did when you didn't. Bye. No, we don't. You wish you did when you didn't. We don't. I know, but you'll wish you did when you didn't. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Happy New Year. All right, baby. Bye, bitch. Okay. Bye, bitch. Let's see who's next. Hi, y'all. Oh, my gosh. How y'all do when we're doing prank calls? All right. This is a pre-book. Let's do one for Emily. Thank you guys for all the gifts. Your call has been forwarded to voice. Hello. Hi, baby. How you doing? Good. Who's this? This is Sue. Um, I am your great aunt. I never have met you, and it's really nice to hear your voice. I've been estranged from the family, and I'm just getting into contact with everybody because I really want to meet up for the holidays. Um, I've lived most of my life on the road. I'm a famous songwriter, singer. Me and Dolly are thick as thieves. And, but uh, that's besides the point. I want to hear about you. Are you that? She hung up. 
We got disconnected, you know. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is... Maria! Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Spanky, shut up. All right, <clears throat> this one's for Diva. Oh, Diva didn't. Leave a number. You gotta leave the number if you want me to do your call, honey. How am I supposed to call a no number? All right, let's see who's next. Next up is Will I Am Crumb. Hello. Hello, is this uh, Dion? Yes, it is. Did I say that right? You did. Good. I know that I hate it when people mispronounce my name. No problem. Who's this? This is Sue Dillon. Uh, an I was interested in renting out that apartment you got, that one bedroom, one bath. Oh, uh, the one bedroom, one bath on Brook Street? Yeah, yes. Okay, good fine. Did you meet the minimum requirements as they were listed? I do, and I was, I just had a couple of questions before I put yeah. in an application. Um, do y'all do, like, well checks, and do you check on how many animals I have, and how many people are staying with me, and such? Yes, I do. Okay, how often do y'all check, and what days do you check? <laughs> Why would that be important? I don't know, you know, this isn't me saying anything, but, um, I don't know, like, say, perhaps somebody had about eight cats and four wiener dogs, and you went in on it, and you saw it, like, what would you do? I'm not saying that's me, I'm just curious. Okay, um, yeah. I'm well, just curious. I'm we not... Would, we would immediately file to evict. Right, okay. Um, what would you do if there was about ten people staying in a one-bedroom? I'm not saying that's me. I'm just curious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious. You want to know? I was just wanting to know because I want to know how you run business. I want to know if you do it dirty or not. I'm sorry, that's not... We're not like that. We're professionals. Right. I like to interview the people I'm going to be renting from, just like you like to interview me, honey. Uh, as far as smoking goes, um, that would be happening outside for me. There's no smoking in the building. Right, that's why I just said it would be outside. So, I think it's a good looking establishment, but I'm going to need you to cut rent about $300 and I'll take it up not tonight. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Well, that's your loss, and good luck renting that son of a gun out. Yeah, we'll have no problems. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this one is for dance. Fequitas. Thank you, honey. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Hey, is this James? This is Bear's uh, godmother. 
if you will, and I've never talked to you, honey. I just want to introduce myself. Sorry, sorry, what was your name, miss? And who, who's Godmother? I'm Bears. I'm your baby Bears, Godmother. And my name is Sue Dillon. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, I'm going to meet you, Miss Sue Dillon. Yes. Um, I love Burr. You know, he sure is a cutie. Well, perfect. When did you get to meet him? Um, I met him the day he was born. And I held him in my hand, and I actually was putting butt paste on him. He shot right on my finger. I knew then it was too love. I love that little boy. You meet him with Sarah then? Yes. Perfect. Yes. I, I don't smoke around that baby, so don't worry about that. I ain't going to expose him to any secondhand smoke. We keep it fresh in my car. Yeah. Sarah's never mentioned you, so I'm very comfortable. Yeah, I know. She was hesitant because I am a convicted felon, but it was nothing for nothing major. Um, I was stealing snakes. It's not snakes, hell. I was stealing steaks from the Walmart, and they caught me red-handed, and I served some time in prison. I'm a changed woman. But, you know... She was nervous to tell you because of that, but she thought that it would be a good idea if I called you and told you. No, no, it, it, we all make mistakes, and we just learn from them, you know? I know, and that's what I'm trying to teach her. Mistakes. Mistakes, yes. Good ones. Oh, I love me a steak. Are you, are you either in California then, or? I do. Yes, I'm a transplant. Okay, all right. Yeah, are you in, uh... I know Sarah don't care about transplants, and she's got two of them sitting right on her chest. <laughs> transplants? Do you mean her? I'm confused. Her titties. She doesn't have fakes. I've seen them, honey. She's got, I don't know how long it's been for y'all, but she's got fakes. No. She does. No. I've seen them. Her name is Ellen? Sue. Sue, just Sue, huh? Sue Dillon. Sue Dillon, that's what I'm sorry. I just said Tristan. Yeah, but I just wanted to introduce myself, like I said, but it's nice to meet you, honey, and you'll be seeing more of me around. Yeah, sounds good. All right, honey. Nice to meet you, Miss Sue Dillon. Bye. That was her baby daddy. All right, this one's for Nathan. <phone rings> Pre books for next week, honey. Next Sunday at 6 p.m. Central, you'll go first.
Jelly fishing, jelly fishing, jelly fishing. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach... Hi, honey, I wanted to wish a happy birthday to Autumn Rose. I know your birthday was on the 29th, and I missed the party, honey, and I'm sorry if I want to say happy birthday to you and many more. <clears throat> All right, this one is for Ben Machachi or something like that. She didn't put the number, damn it. All right, this one's for Haley Janae. Hello. Hi, Kayleen. How are you? Hello. Is this Kayleen? Hello. Well, I'm your neighbor out here, Kayleen, and I don't appreciate your damn crazy ass dogs coming to my yard taking shits and running at me, charging at me when I'm carrying my groceries in. The silent treatment don't scare me off, honey. All right, this one's for Liz Book. Liz Book out. Hello. Hi, honey. How's that arson case going? How's that arson case going? This is Sue. Sue? Yeah, yes. I'm your third cousin. My third cousin? Yep. Huh. I heard you working in arson. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna call him back. Hello. I know you're there. I know you're there. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> he hung up. All right, let's do T. Smith, 830. Hey. Thank y'all so much for the gifts. I hope this one answers. Hi, you've reached Debbie Smith. I'm sorry I'm not able to... That is a Pokemon card. That, I, that a podcast gifted me for going on their show. It is so cool. Thank you, Alicia. Hello? Hey, Debbie. Yeah? Um, I see you exercising at night out here in the neighborhood, and you're getting way too close to my my lawn when you're walking by. You need to keep your feet on the sidewalk, honey. Let's show Facebook. Okay. It's just where, too where you, close where do you for... Live? I live down the road from you. Okay. 
And you're getting a little too close for comfort. My husband just did the thing where he drove that thing in the yard and it pokes holes in the grass and puts seeds and I don't want you stepping on it. I, I don't walk in the grass. I saw you, honey. You almost stepped in my grass. You were so close. The blades were probably grazing on your shoe. Okay. It's right. too close for comfort. I don't want to see it happen again. Okay. This is private property. I understand. I apologize. I've I had no idea. I walk in the street. You need to have reflecting gear on, too, because somebody's going to run you over. I have reflecting gear on. It must not reflect that good, because I didn't see it. Okay. And I even had my binoculars out. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I just, I'm looking out for you, honey. All right. Well, thank you, I guess. You're welcome, sweet pea. Don't tread on me. Don't tread on Sue. Don't tread on Sue. Don't tread on Sue's grass. That's right, Spanky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, this one is for Ra Mont Go. Sorry, the number you have dialed has called. Sorry, the number you have dialed has calling restrictions that have prevented the completion of your call. Calling restrictions never stop me. Hi, honey, it's Sue. How are you doing? Uh, it's Sue from Picton, Ontario. That'd be a chunk up on me. Thank you, Courtney. Requests are booked up for this live, but you can book for next live if you want to be done on live, or you can book a call with a video, honey. But if you pre book during this live, it will be done next week. Sundays with Sue, starting at 6 p.m. Central, you'll go on one of the first. from Pantras High School. I don't know why you hung up on me. We used to be besties. Give me a call back. I wanted to tell you the latest drama with my husband. I caught him in another cougar, and I just wanted to vent to somebody familiar about it. Give me a call back when you can. Bye.
All right, this one is for Nick Ransom. Hi, is this, uh, uh, I'm Angelo's fiance, Haley. This is Haley, right? Who's this? I'm Angelo's fiance. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm croaking out. I just took a rock seat. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I've got back pain. I'm calling his fiance. I'm calling okay. Haley. Okay. Haley, I got to save the date in the mail. I can't wait to come to the wedding. I'm so excited. I know you're going to look so pretty. <laughs> okay, we can't wait to have you. And I was wondering if I could crash at your house. Uh, we only have, like, a small bedroom. Perfect. That would be just fine for me and Spunky and our two wiener dogs. Oh, okay. Um, are they allowed to come to the venue if I put them in a cage in the reception area while the wedding's going on? I mean, I don't know. You know, because we have the couple of pitbulls that are going to be there. Oh, yeah, they don't like other dogs. Yeah, no. That's fine. Well, we're excited to come. I've already got no, your wedding but... gift. I ain't going to tell you what it is. You ain't going to fish it out of me. Oh, okay. Well, you won't give me a little hint? Hell no, honey. Oh, that stinks. It will save you money in the long run. I'll say that. Oh, okay. It'll give you a little splash, too. No. But, honey, I, I'm real excited. I gotta get off here and take a piss. Uh, okay, I gotta go take a shit anyway. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'll think All of right. you when I'm pissing. You think of me when you're shitting. I sure will. Bye. Bye. She definitely knew, it seems like, but that was fun. All right, Idia Maduros. People would ask if they could bring dogs to our wedding. My dad is a dog breeder. He has a puffy meal. And he, in fact, did ask to bring his Yorkies to my wedding venue, and I said no. And I felt very guilty for it. But I said no. The man puts his chickens in the trailer for the winter so they don't get cold. I'm not making this shit up. Do you think he gives a damn if a puppy mill is illegal? No. He don't care. They don't care out in the country, honey. The neighbor stole his cows. Flat out stole his cows, mixed it in with his other ones. Thank you, Meg. Please leave a message after the beep. 
Hi, Helen, it's Sue. I'm a new neighbor up here, and everybody's been talking Helen this, Helen that, Helen this, Helen that. So I wanted to see what you were all, what all the hoopla was about, honey. So give me a call back, and we can shoot the shit and get to know one another, baby. Bye. Thank you, Tammy. Alright, let's see who's next. I'm sorry. Alright, let's. So, I'm sorry, I got I'm getting distracted because I'm about to piss myself, really and truly. Alright, Chloe Bug. I need to speak with Cameron. Cameron. Uh, you just towed my car out here, and the police told me it was you that towed me in. I don't... They hung up quick, man. They hung up quick. I don't know if I should call back or not, because it's a freaking Dollar General. What would y'all do? Don't, okay. All right, Mariah Sears. I'm pretty sure the people that work with him ordered it. Pretty sure the people that work with him ordered it based on the contents of the message, but yeah, I don't wanna risk it. I know you think this face and hair is sexy, baby. You didn't have to say it like that. I have a husband. I'm taking can't touch this, but you can look. You can look, but you can't touch, honey. That's right, honey. You can get your uh, bumper stickers in my link tree on my merch link. I am selling paraphernalia 
for a suit deal in 2024 for the presidential election. Don't tread on Sue. Y'all need a pair of titties in the Oval Office. Customer you called is not available at this time. Please try your call again later. Announcement one: The wireless customer you called is. Mariah will reach out to get a different phone number from you for next week. Alright, fail 425. No number. Love it. Ham Hawk Star. Your call cannot be completed as. Thank y'all for the gifts. Hello. Hi, is this Howard? Yes. Hi, Howard. How, how have them Bengals been doing, honey? Uh, they're winning right now. He's got a touchdown. Yes, that's my team. That's my team. I'm, I'm doing a bet right now. If they win, I will streak the neighborhood topless. And I think it's going to be a treat for everybody because I did get a boob lift back in the 80s. So. Yeah. But, um, I've just been thinking about you. You know, you gave me your number the other day at the bar. I did? Yes, and we, we really hit it off. I bought you a drink, and one thing led to another. You gave me your number. <laughs> You said you were too drunk and doing nothing that night, but that you'd be interested, so this is me shooting my shot, honey. You sure are handsome. Oh, he hung up a long time ago. <laughs> <clears throat> Jacqueline. Jesse, we're booked up at the moment, but um, you can pre-book for next week on my profile, or you can subscribe to me, and you'll get a free call with that and a follow from me. I'll reach out to you and get a number for next Sunday.
or you can book a Cami or a link tree and then you'll get a video Your with call it. Has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. If you did a tip, yes, it's getting done tonight. I only have like a handful left, maybe 12 at most. I'm not completely sure because some people have already pre-booked for next week and I have 15 notifications, so I know I have less than 15. I think I have like two or three pre-books in my notifications, so that are getting done next Sunday. You're moving my phone every time you move your damn legs. Thank you, CC. I'm gonna leave a message. Alright. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, honey, this is Sue. Um, I'm just calling to let you know that your dog Fawn got loose earlier and it took shit in my yard and I don't appreciate it whatsoever. You need to make sure this son of a gun does not get out again. I can't be picking up shit like this. I have bad hips. Bye. Thank you guys for all the love. Thank you, call baby. Thank you, Jennifer. This one's for Josh Bone Dogs. Some of y'all sent a tip and didn't put the number. Those should check your email that you ordered with because we're trying to get the number from you. <coughs> Hello? Is this Corby? Yes. Honey, this is Sue calling from the cruise line. I'm calling to let you know that we have to cancel the cruise and we will not be able to refund anybody. Um, we're bankrupt. We don't have no more money to be handing back out to you, and I'm sincerely sorry. <laughs> don't cry, honey. It's okay. Oh, I thought I just do not believe us. I'm not a liar, honey. I'm just calling every each, each cruise goer individually and letting them know. It's devastating. We're going to have to close the cruise ship line. Somebody burned down one of our ships with a cigarette. And it really has cost us a lot of money. We're under a lawsuit. And that somebody was not me. I don't smoke on the cruise ships when I am allowed to go. I'm just really behind the phones. People keep thinking it was me. It wasn't. I'm sorry, honey. No, goodbye. Bye. Madison Walker. Your call cannot be complete. Chad. 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 Why the hell did you get my daughter Crystal pregnant? for 
forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Four, three. I'm gonna leave a message. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Chad, why the hell did you get my daughter Crystal pregnant? You should have known she wasn't on birth control and she's dying for somebody to swoop in and make her a kept woman. She don't want to work. That's why she spreads her legs. You should have known better. Noel Webb. No number. Teenage Heartbreak Queen. No. Hello, honey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Just this is Sue. I just saw your number on this guest gas station bathroom stall says call for a good time and honey I need a good time I'm in a depression you got the wrong number bro I've got cobwebs down there but hey let's get it on honey whereabouts are you oh, hung up V Moody I heard you fart. Yep. Hi, it's Catherine. Sorry, Keith. Hello. Hey, Catherine. How you doing? <clears throat> Is this? this is Sue from LinkedIn. I just came across your profile, and I think you'd be the perfect match for my gas station management position I'm trying to fill. <laughs> Damn it! She hung up. Tell her a closed mouth don't get fed. Right now, if you leave your name and number, I'll get back with you as soon as I'm able. Thank you. Hi, Catherine. A closed mouth don't get fed, so I don't know if you got disconnected from me by accident or not, but the offer stands, honey. A person with experience like you would do so well at my establishment. We do sell tobacco and alcoholic pro pro. What am I looking for? The word. I'm about to piss myself, honey. I can't think anymore, but we sell that shit, and you know you'd be good at it. Buy products. God, I have to pee. Go pee. I have to take a pee break. I'm sorry. I have to take a pee break. I'm I've been holding it for like half an hour. Do you want to put the phone on me so they can watch me scroll? Thank you for the present. Oh, yeah.
with the blankie. Oh, man. Did you wash your hands? I did. I'm a quick pisser. Piss like a racehorse. Lindsay Phillips. Your call has been forwarded to an autumn. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two. Um, we're booked up for tonight, honey. Um, but. You can still order different ways. My mods will explain. Too busy pinning comedy gold. Hi, honey. Uh, Mrs. Lexi. Yes? I'm Dylan's, uh, grandmother. <laughs> My name is Sue Dylan, actually. We kept the family name by naming him Dylan. That was a dollar request, so I'm skipping it, but you are supposed to send five dollars minimum, honey. I know you probably didn't know. You probably didn't read the fine print like none of y'all do, because half of y'all left out the damn number. That's okay, though. Hello? Is this Kate? Who? Kate. Katie? Katie? Yes. I'll see. I can only read it from a computer screen. I see that you are interested in a job with our porta potty business. Is this so Dylan? Yeah, yes, honey. Oh my god. How are you doing, sweet feet? Oh, it's just, oh my god, this is amazing. You sound just like me. I guess you've been smoking what's your, what's your poison, honey. What kind do you like? I know, I like them Marvel Reds. I, I always have to smoke me a cigarette. I don't know, I don't associate with women that smoke cowboy colors, honey. I'm more of a Virginia Slim woman. It's more classy. That, that is a classic cigarette. That's okay, though. I know that some of us are just... We don't have the magic touch like I do. I'll just say that. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Oh, my God. Well, Katie, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sue Dillon. Have a blessed day, honey. You too. All right, let's do Jordan Norm Semi. I don't know. Jenny. Oh my god. Hi. How are you doing, honey? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um Can I've been you? I've been a little bit better. My hemorrhoids back and I'm gonna have to call out of work tomorrow. Son of a bitch. I know. It was poking out. I said, Do I have uh -huh. cancer? And Spanky said, No, that's just your hemorrhoid. I can't believe this is happening to you. Well, I hope you feel better. Thank you, baby. I gotta go take a shit, actually, so I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, well, you have a good one. Bye. <laughs> Bye. She knew. She knew. <laughs> Thomas Wright Ridley.
Is this Mary? Who's this? This is Sue Dillon from church. From where? From church. 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 <laughs> you got the wrong number. This is Mary Isles, ain't it? I was wondering when you're gonna get your ass back in church, Mary House. You need to visit the house of God. Especially with these manners you've adopted, you need to surround yourselves with the Christian blood. So have a good day. I'll be praying for you, Miss Mary House. Why? Because you're rude. No. Oh. Buy, not why. Oh. I don't do request less than five dollars and we've said it so many damn times. Faith Harper. And it's in the fine damn fine print, honey. Hey, Earl. <laughs> After leaving a message, you can hang up or press pound. That was an odd, peculiar voicemail. Hello, is this Chris? Yeah. Chris, somebody's outside. I live in your neighborhood. I cried across the road from you. Somebody's outside smearing what looks like dog shit all over your car. My car. Yeah, I just want to let you know it looks like some hood rats. They're, they're about to get on their skateboards and roll away. You better get out there and look at them real quick. I don't have a car. I, I, I park in the back. It's a vehicle. I don't know. I know I'm the neighbor behind you. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, all right. I, I'll have a look. Thank you. All right, honey. Take care. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't even know if I get on Discord. I don't know why the hell somebody's trying to fight me. Quit spamming my comments. I'm a grown-ass woman. It look like I partake in fights. Hey, Earl, I'm just finishing up calls. And then I'll be ready to battle, baby. 
I have about three or four more to do, honey. I already did this one, but I guess they put multiple ones in. Yeah, Hi, Catherine. It's me again. Call me back when you can, Sue. Bye. Honestly, we got a lot of answers this live. Honestly. Alright. This one is for Fail425. I'm trying to call Joey. Joey about his dog shit. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What did you say? I'm trying to call Joey about his dog shit in my yard last week. Okay, let me try to get the person you're trying to reach on the line. Joey. Yes. That was so bizarre, this answering machine you have. Uh, who's, who's talking? Sue, and I call bullshit on it. Honestly, I think it was you the whole time. Who is this? This is Sue. I'm a neighbor of yours, and your wife has been nude in the backyard. Uh, and also, your dog's been getting out and shitting in my yard, and I don't appreciate it whatsoever. It's just ungodly what y'all are doing out here. I'm going to call the law and I'm going to start sending you a monthly bill because I've been picking up this shit for many, many weeks and too many weeks. Who is this? Sue Dillon. I'm a neighbor of yours, like I said. Okay. And my, my wife? Yes. I've seen her white ass outside. I don't want to see it no more. She needs to do some more lunges and squats if she's going to be naked out like that. Outside. Outside. I think you got the wrong number. No, honey, I got the right Joey. I know I do. You're gonna have to call me now. <clears throat> okay, real quick. I'm done with my request so far. Um, for the night. But some people did put in a request and they didn't put their number. Or, like, something was wrong with it. Bad. So. Cool. Cool guy did not put a number. I'm just taking a look. Bear with me. Yeah, he's not replied. Okay, so we still need cool guy. Okay, good. She sent me hers, so I'm going to do hers.
has been forwarded to an audit. forwarded to an automated voice messaging Forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I'm gonna have to leave her amazing, Jenny. I'm sorry. I hate that. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To send a fax, press 4 now. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hi, Brooke. This is Sue. I'm a neighbor of yours and Dave's, and I've been looking at Dave's ass a lot, I'm not gonna lie. And I was wondering if y'all had ever dabbled in swinging, because I have been swinging ever since the 90s when Austin Powers came out. He's what got me into it. Shag now or shag later, honey. Let us know. Um, if you don't feel comfortable calling me back, just put a pineapple on your porch and I will know that the message has been received and it is a go. Um, it is a touchy subject if you start out for the first time, so I get it. But call me back if you want to know more, honey. Bye. Okay. Let's see. I gotta make sure we get all the other ones done. Noel. I thought there was more than that, but there's not. Do you care to email? Um, never mind, I'll just text her. Okay, Noel Webb did not do it, so. Did I do cool guy? I can't remember, did I do cool guy? Successfully. No. Okay. All right. I did what I could. Reached out to him, so I don't know. Now we're going to battle, honey. We've got to battle Earl. Let me see if he's on here. This is my friend Earl.